Okay, we're going to have some videos in a moment of my university's two-day culture festival that took place at the first weekend in October. As you can see, the students decorate campus. They set up food stalls to sell food to raise money for their clubs. They exhibit, right here you can see their artwork and their model making, Mecha Godzilla versus Gundam, I think. Um, they sh display lectures they've given on how to speak English well and trips they've taken with their classmates. Okay, and uh, they dance routines, all kinds of fun stuff. Watch the videos. Here we go. It's kind of bunkasai, right? Is it fun? Yes. What did you eat today? Pancakes and chijimi and potato. And potatoes. What did you eat today? Uh, uh. <laughs> this. And? And? And pancake. And some pancake. And what are you drinking? Kalpis, <laughs> what did you eat today? Hashimaki. What's hashimaki? I don't know exactly. Is it rice? No, like, uh, like okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, yes. Oh, okay. Is it delicious? Yes, pretty good. I like so. <laughs> <laughs> so we have many students have a booth down here. Let's have a look. Very cute, very cute. What are you eating today? Kakisoba. Yakisoba? Kakigori. Kakigori. What's kakigori ego day? Ice. Mm. <laughs> Actually, ego day, we say, we say, we say snow, snow cone. Snow cone. Snow cone, snow cone. Okay, see you later. Yakisoba. Yakisoba. What are you guys making? Yeah. Nani? Yakisoba. Yakisoba? Yes, very good. Ego said to me on a guy. What is yakisoba? This noodle is uh. <laughs> Japanese. Japanese too. Okay. Yeah. Is it delicious? Yes, yeah, very good. Okay. <laughs> So hello, I'll take a minute. There's nobody in this big lecture hall. But there's a lot of displays at Culture Festival. This room has the study abroad uh, displays. So these are all in English. Well, the titles are in English. The, the writing is in Japanese. And you can see the kids here did a game. You get dots and you can put it on here. So this side is America, and my school has a relationship with a school in Monterey, California, which is near San Francisco. Some of the students went to Russia. Not, not many go to Russia, but a few. Um, I think only four this year. And uh, China and Korea. So they make these displays. And uh, they show you pictures of their time when they went to other countries. There's lots of other cultural displays. Um, there's ikibana, there's tea ceremony, there's um, all the seminar students present their kind of what they're working on, their thesis. This is all China. And so there's rooms for that. Um, 
in addition to all the food booths. Sorry, I just ate yakisoba. So, and here's the little bit. Now there's no student in here, which I think was interesting, kind of showing you around, but this game is fairly self-explanatory. So I guess they decided to not have to man it. Um, but this is a large lecture hall uh, in Japan. Not large, large, this is actually Chu, I think this is medium, um, with these built-in benches for the students to sit on. All right, more later, thanks for watching. So as you can see, um, Gangnam Style has invaded even Japan. Um, I'm going to talk over this dancing just in case this music is copyright. Um, so as you can see, some of the kids hang out in the kind of area in front of the auditorium. Uh, while I was taping this, there was uh, two fairly famous comedians. They had flown in from uh, Tokyo or wherever they, they perform and live. Um, to give a performance and entertain the students. Uh, very popular, uh, crowded and sold out basically. Um, tickets were free, but you had to like get a ticket. Um, they also had a performance on the previous day by a graduate who now has a recording contract. And she came and performed songs for the crowd. Um, plus all the student uh, clubs do dances and performances and stuff. A lot of the food was really yummy. I ate a lot. Um, we had some good weather, as you can see there on the second day, and got to see a bunch of my students. It was really a lot of fun. Okay, thanks for watching.